global warming is accelerating like a bullet train. The Arctic is now predicted to be ice-free in the summer of 2012, decades earlier than previously predicted. We have reached a crisis. Innovative science and business must work quickly to solve global warming. We have left a large print on our planet, and now we begin to try and lessen the print. As uh, the, the temperature uh, and the variability occurs on our planet, certainly water is a huge issue, but even closer to us is the food. And the, the amount of food that this beautiful earth can grow, we saw that the uh, wheat harvest in the Netherlands came in one month early, and it was also covered in aphids. Now, aphids carry viruses, and agronomists are very concerned but you see the aphids should be killed by cold weather and Western Europe, as I just explained, had the warmest fall and warmest winter that they'd ever recorded. I think people are getting to where we need to go that there's a problem. We've been suffering over the last uh, 25, 30 years in different areas with drought. A warming world is a drier world, and what we've seen, I don't care where you go, if you go to north of Beijing, there are, there's a city of over a million people. They've had a gripping drought for 10 years. They're water starved. If you go, uh, Australia just came out of a one in 100 year drought. The southwest Arizona in 202, 203 came out of a one in 1,000 year dry period. We in Southern California were within five days of shattering the driest record. Last year in the United States of America, we came off the biggest wildfire season uh, since records have been kept. A drier world impacts our crops and already predicted we're losing 40 million tons of crops, rice, corn, uh, barley, sorghum, uh, and wheat, the staple foods for our society. Over the last 4,000 years, droughts have annihilated past civilizations. Already on Earth, there's one billion people who don't have potable or drinkable water on a daily basis. If we look at the problem on Earth, it boils down to one word, energy. Currently, the number one source of energy is 200 million year old forests. With the weight and the heat from the outer mantle transformed into this beautiful energy source, coal. And when you burn coal, make no mistake about it, a chunk of coal the size of your fist packs a punch of energy that is really, truly remarkable. If we take two steps back, our beautiful trees that have been on our planet and their progenitors for 350 million years, they have the ability, uh, very elementally, to take the sun's energy, this colorless, odorless, funny gas called carbon dioxide that we've all heard so much of, mix it with water in the ground, and make their food. Our ancient forests, they're made up of carbon, is the point. And when you burn it, you burn coal or trees, they release CO2. So this is the number one source currently of our emissions uh, worldwide. So what's the big truth behind global warming? And I said in one word, and I fervently believe this, it's change, dot, 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 opportunity in disguise. A lot of companies have seen this, and a lot of companies, I get very heartened. Companies and good leadership is right at the fore. The biggest chip maker in the world, Intel, is the biggest uh, single consumer of wind in New Mexico and in the state of Oregon. We go to Starbucks, 20% of their energy is coming from wind, sun, and geothermal energy. We go to the biggest carpet maker in the world, uh, Ray Anderson's Interface, a uh, carpet manufacturer. He is, a, he is an unbelievable champion. They have lowered their emissions 60% below 1990 levels. Companies are putting their mouths and their brain power and their pocketbook into sorting this out. You will probably hear most politicians, most, not all, 
uh, high-level politicians say, oh, we couldn't possibly change because that's going to cost us jobs. It's quite the opposite. The solar industry is forecasted by 2025 to have 2 million direct jobs. But the amount of jobs elsewhere in retooling our earth has never before been greater. The old economy is like a sandcastle surrounded by a rising ocean. It's crumbling right before our eyes. The new economy is based on nature's blueprint. With clean, renewable technologies providing millions of jobs, and a healthy future for our children. As responsible uh, parents and um, citizens on our planet, we have no choice now to, to say we're gonna defer and pass the buck. We know better, we can make jobs from it. I put it to you this way, let's solve global warming together. Are you in?